wheelchair bodybuilding to ballroom dancing to published author. Meet a man not defined by limits. Plus, coming up next, he's a bodybuilder, ballroom dancer, and published writer, but there still is so much more. Hands and Nick Scott will join us after the break with his inspirational story. Don't miss it. Welcome back. You know the old saying, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. And that is exactly what our guest has done. When he found himself in a situation most have never experienced, here to tell us about his experiences and his new book, Journey is Nick Scott. Good evening. So you're a ham for the camera, apparently, <sighs> and no stranger. <laughs> now, yeah. tell us, you're from Ottawa. Yes. Uh, kind of start us from the beginning of this journey, so to speak, that you've been going on. Yeah, basically, August of 98, I was in an accident. My left front tire blew out, and I rolled my vehicle five and a half times. As it was rolling, it ejected me out of the driver's side window. My own car hit me in the back. It broke my back and damaged my spine at T12L1. The doctors diagnosed me as paraplegic, and they told me I would never walk again. So obviously, when that happened, you went through a lot of different emotions, and then you decided enough was enough. Kind of take us through the very beginning uh, portion of those emotions and how you decided to say, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to do something. Yeah, you know, when, when that happened, I was devastated. I mean, when somebody tells you that you won't never walk again and you're paralyzed, I mean, you know, you don't care to live. I mean, I went into a depressed state of mind, and I truly wanted the, my, the wreck to take my life, and then I... Going back to school, I thought that would be better, and it took me like a year of occupational therapy because I wanted to go back mm -hmm. to school, and they wore the chest brace, and I thought that would, you know, keep me sane, but it killed me that much more because I got, I, I saw everybody doing the things I, I couldn't do anymore. So finally something clicked, and you decided to get into bodybuilding. Well, it was kind of like I, I went into the weight room, and I, you know, seeing everybody, I was thinking, you know, I couldn't do nothing anymore. So when I saw the bench press, I realized if I couldn't do anything, the one thing I could be is stronger than everybody. And here's a picture so that's of him what I did. doing just that. Okay, so now let's go to the next phase of your life where you got into ballroom dancing. And I had actually talked to you when you were doing the bodybuilding, had no idea about this ballroom dancing. Let's show that video and kind of tell me about how you got into that. Oh, man. You know, with a, a ballroom dancing, I was actually, I eventually got sponsored uh, with bodybuilding.com and I was working the 2009 Arnold Expo. Yeah, you, you dance in front of Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, so I went, th how it all got started is I met Aubrey at the 2009 Arnold Expo. She told me who, sh uh, she interviewed me, and then about a week later, she sent me an email, and she told me who she was and what she was doing. Then she's, I saw a video of her dancing with a guy in a wheelchair, and I thought, I could be better than him. So she lives in Philadelphia, and I live in Kansas, and I fly specifically to Philadelphia to take ballroom lessons. That's amazing. Okay, so now we, we're just about out of time, so let's get to your book called Journey. I read parts of it, and inside you were just very candid about your entire journey that you take. Why did you decide to be so open and write the book? I uh, just, you know, I, at the time of writing it, was, I wanted, you know, I was thinking that somebody might be going through the same situation I was, and I was hoping that if they were struggling, they can see that there's light at the end of a dark tunnel and a hole that they feel like they cannot get out of and I want to help guide them to the next level. So this is the book Journey. Where yes. can people uh, get a copy of this if they're interested in reading it? Right now it's only on my website mm -hmm. nickfitness.com but about one to two weeks it'll be on bodybuilding.com as well as amazon.com and Barnes and Nobles, Borders and they're all in the review right now. Okay great so like you said the best place may be nickfitness.com yep. and uh, it's always a great talking to you. Oh, it's always a pleasure Kelly. So uh, thank you for joining us and, uh, and Good luck with whatever the next feat is that you try. Well, you. Now, we obviously just told you about the great feats of strength by Nick. And coming up next, we'll have another story of great strength. 20 pull-ups are hard to do. I bet Nick wouldn't have a problem with it, but imagine...